So, hello everybody, I'm Richard Rohn of Work to Live podcast version. And this time, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of talking about the, the unification is necessary or the unification is important among European countries. So I'm recording this episode in 2022 in, in, in which the Slavic War or was, or last, last, last uh, Ukrainian War ha, has been, has been, pro, has been str- still, still prolonged and or ha, has been, has been lasted and not has been lasted, has, has lasted. Anyway, so I'm I'm creating this record this recording or, or I'm creating this this episode in such in such a time or or in such in such a in such in such a present time. So why why I began to talk about talk about that you know so un, the unification is among among European countries is necessary. So that is because so you know so I, I think the, I don't I don't know whether the the, prim, the primary purpose of, of European Union, but actually you know so thinking thinking about the thinking about the Brexit or and I I have I have had that there is an there is an imminent imminent exit of or imminent imminent leaving. Or, or done, done by France, France, and you know such a, such an action had, had been such a ha- action ha- had had been or ha- has been called Brexit, but actually, but actually, so there is a there is a possi- there is a possibility possibility of Brexit among among European Union. So thinking thinking about thinking about such a situation, so. I th- I think you know I I think somebody should em- emphasize on, on the importance of of the uni- unification unification among among European Euro- European countries and why so I think one of the primary primary purposes of of European Union is to is to is to create create a group create a, a strong group against against the Russian Federation or other 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 communist groups or other dangerous groups like. Like the, ter- the terrorists in the terrorists in mid- some middle Middle Eastern countries, but actually, so in 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 this time ta- in in this time, so think, thinking about the, the Slavic war between the t- taking place between Ukraine and Rus- Russia, maybe one of the most most de- one of the most threatening or one of the most then dangerous or one of the most lethal country lethal country uh, or lethal countries against. Against not Ukraine, Ukraine, but actually, but other European countries as, as a whole. I think the 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 most the most lethal or the, the most dangerous country against against European countries is is the Russian Federation, which is which is my idea. But actually, you know, so think, thinking about the thinking about the, Thinking about the fact that you know there is there is a possi- there is a possibility of of Brexit or Fra- France li- France leaving leaving away from European Union, so you know such you know so su- such a such a so such such a, thinking about such a such a such a possibility, I think you know so you need to, some somebody has to somebody has to be concerned about it or somebody has to em- ha- has to. Has to claim the somebody has to or somebody some bodies have to claim the importance of the unification among among European countries and that is because so in 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 this in this part what I'd like to tell you is I'd like to tell you mere bez Nazisma or the the world world without world without Nazism so. Why I began why I began to tell you tell you this or why why I began to talk about world without Nazism is because this this is a political and world without Nazism is a is a is a not not pronoun but pro, proper noun not proper noun or well, this is a name this is a name of a of a Russian political organization and then of course you know this 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 political organization has a has a close tie with with. President Putin, who is a, who is the in, 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 incumbent president of of Russian Federation, and so think, thinking about such thinking, thinking about such a condition, so and you know so this in this in this time the, the Slavic war, war was caused by the, the intru, intrusion of Russian of Russian force of Russian forces, so. Which, which is why, for example, what I'm worried about is that you know, some, in, in, in some in some European countries, so there must be some there must be some populists who 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 are who are going who are going to or who 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 have got who have got some some political strong political strong political powers and such populists may con such populists such dangerous populists may control 
may control the, the, the politics, the politics or the governments of of some European countries. So you know, thinking about thinking about such a possibility. So here, I'd like I'd like to emphasize the the unification, the importance of the unification. So which is why so I I I I I drag I I track to your time uh, until the until this part. So in, in in this in this part of of this episode, I'd like to tell you, or I'd like to pause pause the conclusion of this episode. And the conclusion is, when choosing the political leaders of your countries, you should be careful not to choose popul populist like Adolf Hitler. So if if you choose some somebody somebody is like Adolf Hitler, so for example, you know, so I I I, I don't I don't I don't say that you know, Marine Marine Le Pen is a is a is an equivalent or equivalent to Adolf Hitler. I I which is which is which is not which is not what I what I'd like to tell you this time. But actually, you know, so you know, but actually, so Miss Marine Le Pen has a has a sim similar char characteristics. To su 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 suggesting the simil suggesting the simil similarities or uh, su the suggesting the similar similarities to to the, to Adolf Hitler or the the, the current situation the current situations of of, of Weimar, Weimar Republic and so please please rem please remember or please 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 remember that you know so con concrete concretely speaking or elaborate elaborately speaking. He, 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 Adolf Hitler got, got the power in in, in Weimar Republic, which which had been which had been called called the most democratic con country. Or no no no, no not, not democ that country had had not been called so. So according not, not according. So lucky my own brain. So I I think maybe it, it was it was a constitution of Weimar Republic Weimar Weimar Republic which had which had been called the most demo, the most democratic constitution I, I, I don't I can't I, I can't get the exact exact recollection so I, I, I couldn't get exactly the exact recollection but actually you know so thinking was uh, so thinking thinking about the fact that you know Adolf Hitler was was chosen in the in 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 such a in such a democratic republic. So I I think you, you European people particularly particularly to to those those or those people living in advanced European countries should be should be careful or should be aware aware of of should be aware not not to choose not to choose dangerous people or, or dangerous populists like. Adolf Hitler. So, which is why I, I created this episode. So, be, before before ending this episode, I I did like to tell I did like to tell you the, the meaning of the Korean word attached to the attached to the end, end of the end of the title of this episode. So, the the Korean language says, "Cho san Cho san fighting." So, which which means the unif the unification of of Korea or the unification of Korean Peninsula. Keep, keep it up. So, so there's, there's no there's no importance or there's no relevance between the, the Korean Korean phrases or the Korean words and the and the title or the topic of this episode. But actually, so there's there's a there's a relation between between the Korean word and the the, the content of this episode and the. The, the relation is that you know. So if there are, there are two countries in, in or there are two Korean countries in, a, in in the Korean Peninsula, but actually if they are they are if they are united or they, if they, they are yeah, if they are united, they, they can they can grow strong they can grow stronger. So which is why so I'd like to tell you that the, the unif unif unification is necessary among European countries to to tack, to tackle or to fight against. To fight against the Russian Federation, which is what I'd like you to, to know this time. So, before ending, before ending this episode, I'd like to tell you the conclusion of this episode. So, the conclusion is: when choosing the political leaders of your com countries, you should be careful, careful not to choose po populists like Adolf Hitler. So, that's it. Thank you very much for your listening. See you.